Heating a cosy crofter's cottage is one thing, but things didn't stay quite so modest. And after all, an Englishman's home is his castle. So how would you heat a massive stone structure like this magnificent castle at Skipton? Well, when this castle was built over 900 years ago, the main fuel was timber. And unlike the Orkney Islands, Yorkshire had plenty of trees and plenty of cheap labour to fell them. No trees died needlessly in the making of this programme. Trees are a fuel, they're a crop. We're not hurting anybody by doing this. It's a disease tree, it needs to be taken out of the way. And this has gone on for centuries. But as you can see, it's quite big. So all this has got to be converted to a size we can use. This big baronial hall is in actual fact the kitchen, and you'll see that the fireplace has moved down from the middle to the end of the room where you'd expect it into this fireplace. And what a big fireplace this is, because this big log will burn all day down there, and it saves the need for doing lots of sawing and cutting up little logs. But even with a big fire like this, exactly how long will it take to heat a room like this? History books say castles are always cold, but let's see if that's true with some modern temperature measuring equipment. Here's my gizmo here. It's the latest in infrared camera technology and right away with this gizmo I find big generators of hot air. It's the crew. There's the light and what you got there? Coffee. Coffee. Well that obviously is an integral part of castle life. But let's have a look round. It feels chilly, it feels like I'm outside. You might not be able to, well you might not be able to see me breath. What about that Ian? But look at the, the wall there, it's four degrees. If I just whiz over to this log here, take my hand, my hand generates heat, put the hand on top of the log, take it away, residual heat is shown in the log itself, and there it is. Isn't that incredible? That's fantastic. After half an hour, the fire is becoming an intense heat source at over 500 degrees. Further away, the bricks have gone up from five degrees to the mid-twenties. But the fire has a long way to go to heat up all of this drafty hall. I think you'll find the culprit is a little hole in the corner here, which is a medieval toilet. Now, this medieval toilet has obviously got a bit of a cold updraft. Another draft is caused by the fire itself, which loses heat up its own chimney along with the smoke. Chimney design was still very crude in the 15th century, but the basic technology was becoming established. It's cold up on this castle roof. Let me get some of that warmth. 